The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, uh, today is the 16th of November. This is the chart of the gold. We were on the show yesterday, and we mentioned to the folks that uh, if we got a 382 retracement on this, it would be a pretty good idea, and we did. There was 62 and we're now trading at 87. It's had a pretty good rally. Several people have asked me if this is a head and shoulders pattern. This would be your left shoulder. There would be your right shoulder. It's a little bit lower, but if you look at the time frame between the left shoulder and the right shoulder, you'll see that it is just about spot on from the last low that we had back in here. So it's acceptable. But frankly, folks, this is what uh, this is what you pay the money for. Your 382 comes in right here at 62 the low was uh, 59 the risk on that was like eight or nine dollars but never got anywhere near it and now it's off to the races what this usually means when you see something like this is that you're going to see an a b c d pattern up into this area here going above 2000 again we're only 14 dollars away so we're probably going to get that without too much trouble that takes care of the gold market of what we're looking at here today. I wanted to spend just a second here on two things. One is we've got a potential trade set up here. Now, this is the euro. We're going to be taking a look at this. This is on an eight-minute chart. You can see where we are up in here. This is where we are right there. If we look at the daily, you can see the daily. We went out here. We took out all of these highs right at the 50% level. Then we had a pretty big break. That break tells us. There's where we are right now. I'm going to blow it up to show you where we are. So if you like 382s, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But we're going to take a look at it. Your 382 comes in. What do you say, Billy Ray? Here it is, looking good, feeling good, acting good. Sell it there, stop it there, and you're on your way to San Jose. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. you got to remember that. We had a great day trading yesterday. Uh, we ended up with $1,600 profit. I've already went through those trades. I'm not going to waste any more time uh, with this. But I do want to show you a couple of things that were really very, very important. And that is here in the crude oil. And this is where your frustration index goes a little bit off the wacky board. But uh, just wanted to get this up here today because we had a beautiful 382, re just a second here, a beautiful 382 retracement here off of this high right here. I'm going to try to blow it up. But it doesn't allow you to do it very much. That's close enough. Well, uh, was close enough, then it disappears. Folks, I've had more technical difficulties today than I've had all year, and you know I've had a bad year. Let's just collect this on. This is your that was your last 382 was right here. Remember, this took several hours to complete that, just like this one. They're both basically equal, and you'll notice there's your 382 comes in right on the money today right here and i can't get on the machine at all at that time but look at this folks it's dropped four dollars i mean just straight down and i i've just had a lot of trouble so i'm a little frustrated upset angry i've used words that i haven't used in a long time not since i was at saint benedict's and schulte bishop schulte high school i was very very upset but I'm over it now, and tomorrow's another trading day. Okay, now let's look at a couple others that we have to pay attention to because one of them is rocking and rolling, and we still got time for some money to be made up in here. Here's what we've done here over the last two days in the bonds up and down. But the real key to this bond, by the way, our guest today is none other than the Shane man himself, the wolf trader. He'll be on in just a little bit. I want to get the daily chart up here because this is still a valid signal, folks. Last night, that was that was one of our one of our trades. Last night was we sold a 382. Let's just go down to a smaller time frame to show you what happened. What we did is we sold this 382 right here. We were stopped out of it right here for 10 tick loss, 
and then it's continued to go higher. But look what we've got going here now, folks. We're still going higher. And if we take this, uh, Shane will be joining us here at the first break, by the way. So just bear with us here. He'll be coming up in about um, seven or eight minutes. But let's let's look at this. This is really important. Hey, it's important from my perspective. Maybe you don't even care. And that's okay, too. Let's look at this daily again. This is where we want to play the game, okay? This, my friends, is a 61% retracement from the high on the 28th of uh, August, all right? There's the 61 at 116.09. We're less than a point away. So when we look at this, we're going to blow this up on the 44-hour uh, chart so we can see it clearly. And there it is clearly. So we see we came down. See, last night I assumed that this high was in. And I sold a 382 right here and got stopped out of it. Now it's going higher. No big deal. But look what we're going to be looking at, folks. Remember that number we're looking at is 116.05. And that's what we're going to look at for right here. There's your AB leg. There's your C leg right here. There's your D leg. And that says this thing could get all the way potentially to 117.10. Now, I am looking at the possible, and it certainly could, because once we get above here, it's going to be really interesting. But the key level here is this level right here, 116.09. Look at this on the daily, because this is what's important. Remember, mathematics precedes geometry, and there's your geometry right here, 116.09. If you can sell it at the 50% level and it, dro it dropped two points, you can certainly sell it at the 61% level, correct? So there's the level to be watching right there. Let's get back to this, see where it is again. Okay, here's where we're looking at it on the hourly basis. And we're going to go up and we're, certainly looks like we're going to make a new high above here, doesn't it? That, we're almost there now. So what we want to be watching is that next level. And that is going to take us right here at 116.05, 116.10. That's, the, that's, the, that's where the prize is supposed to be. Let's just move this. I'm trying to get these things. My computer, I, even my mouse ran out of batteries, folks, believe it or not. And <laughs> I just had things that just haven't happened in a long time. So let's see what the 1.27 expansion is on this because that's what we're going to be shooting for. And there it is right there. There's a number right in here, 116.10. That's the 61% retracement. I have to do that one. That's basically it. Now, the caveat is possibly that we have this working for us against us, okay? That's at 117.09. That's a whole point from where I get away. But if I'm going to sell it here at 116.10, okay, 116.10, I'm going to risk 15 pips right above here. So my stop is going to be 116.10. 30. I'm going to risk $600 on that to see if it's right because my minimum price objective on this would be almost two handles down, if that is correct. So that's why I'm trying to do this. We did so many of these yesterday on the live trading thing that it was, it was really a lot of fun. But let's take a look, get back here to take a look here at the uh, this euro because this has really got everything that you could possibly ask for. It even had an ABCD today. Look at this, folks, right up against that number. So we're going to find out what's happening here. Let's take a break, and we're going to have the Shane Man up next, Mr. Wolf Trader himself. Bear with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have the wolf trader himself in the house. Shane, are you there? Is this Duke and Duke? It used to be. Now it's Harry's Bar and Grill. We've just uh, started a new business. I'm about ready to throw this computer out. The, even my little mouse, the, I don't know why, but the batteries ran out. on It's just been a disaster day for data for me. So thanks for coming in early. I know you've got some stuff that uh, everybody wants to hear. So please start out and we'll go from there. If any question comes in, I'll let you know, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, let's take an inventory of where we are. Last time we were talking about those lows coming in on the Bradley, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. I, I do want to kind of go into order, though, <clears throat> in terms of what we normally talk about, which is the geomagnetic storms, uh, because I think this is important because this relates to the the annual cycle of the Dow Jones. Uh, so where are we now? Well, we just hit this peak in October, and we're starting to drastically come down here in November and December. And it, it's going to keep falling down through – December is the low and then January January is still pretty low. So that's that's bullish for equities. I mean that's a good sign. I mean this has been a thorn in the side of equities. We've had these storms that have just come one after the next after the next. And uh, it's been just hammering this market down. So I think it's a lot easier to make money to the upside. And I think we're getting closer here to some type of – a some type of a low that can take off and, and rally, but I, I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, this this is the actual seasonal pattern here of the Dow Jones below, and you can see it's a direct inverse reflection of the solar storm activity. So there's a strong correlation here between the solar storms and the Dow Jones. And the amazing thing is that the small caps get hit almost immediately with these storms. So not only is this on a statistical average here, but when the storms actually come, the markets do flag, particularly the, the small caps. So we've, we talked about this before. Uh, but we are in a period here. We hit this this early, right before November, this low, and it does push up all the way into the beginning of of January. So, you know, from this perspective, I like this because we got this off the table now. We don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, it's not to say there won't be storms, but you know, we definitely don't want to see storms uh, if if we're seeing uh, if we want to see a rally in in the market. So, this was just an example of s some past examples of storms. I show this just to give people an idea, uh, but the, the geomagnetic storm came here at the top. This was back in March of 2022. We were short on this market uh, 
for December 2021 all the way down to October 2022. And then we were long last spring and we had a short trade from last June to the end of September. And I and I was messaging you, Larry, in all these trades. But I mean, it just to give people kind of a, a, a viewpoint of where, where we've been mm -hmm. on the long term calls. But within this long term call, we had these storms. And it's really amazing how these markets um, tend to tend to immediately sell off, especially when, when we were in the bear market context. This was August 2022, uh, and so you know this was a period where we were still short all the way from December 2021 all the way through this period through October. Uh, but you can see there's these really big rallies, and then these geomagnetic storms would come, and the market would just kind of falter immediately because we were in this really strong uh, bear market phase when the Fed was contracting and and so the market was just kind of in this stage of trying to just throw in these fits where it would try to rally and then it would just kind of collapse. This is where we are right now. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we had um, this we had a buy in the Fed internals last October. It rallied all the way up until uh, until August. Uh, and th this is when this the Fed internals go into a sell. But these storms show along the way every time there's one of these storms or most of the time, I would say eight out of 10 times, the market does have a negative reaction to it. Uh, and so you can see here, there was just quite a, quite a few storms here from during the summer. And every time they came, it kind of coincided with these peaks. Now we did have a couple of storms here and the market didn't seem to, to do anything with it in the last couple of days, but these were, these were strange storms. They, they weren't in the forecast and they just showed up after the fact. They said, oh, th there was a G2 storm and so, you know, I, I just put it in there so people can see. I also put in the solar eclipse here, the full moon perigee here, and the full moon perigee over here. So full moon perigee is a very strong turning point uh, in astrological terms. So I always try to plot these on the chart just so you can get a visual perspective of this. But I do expect these. Hey, Shane, uh, Shane, yes. to explain to the folks, the perigee is closest to the moon, right? Yes. So like think about like a periscope on a, on a sub. So you have to be close to the surface for the periscope to come up. So perigee means you're close. Uh, so that's how I always tell people to remember apogee it. Apogee means it's far away. Yeah. And, and okay. conservation of angular moment, momentum states that you're going to be the fastest right when it's there. Uh, and so that also goes with the planetary speed index that we talk about all the time. Okay. The moon is just one of the factors. We look at Mercury, Venus, Mars, all the planets. But uh, so you've got a full moon when it's moving really fast. And so when the moon moves fast, the markets tend to run up. OK, so, you'll, you, you know, when you get and especially a full moon perigee. The full, moon, the full moon in of itself can be a turning point. But when you get both of those together, when you get the full moon and the speed, again, because of the, the orbit is not exactly circular. So because it, when it comes closer, that angular momentum states that it's got to be moving faster when it's closer and slower when it's away. So that's what's happening on the full moon perigee when it's close to the Earth there. So it does tend to be a very strong astrological marker. So whenever you guys see a full moon perigee out there, that's a, it has a very strong statistical chance of reversal. It doesn't always work. Uh, you can see here we had one over here. It went down. It went up for a couple more days. But if you go back to some of these big turning points that we had, um, there, there was full moon perigees. On the August 2022, there was a full moon perigee here too. So that is just something that anybody who has a calendar, you can mark that when there's a full moon perigee. They call these super moons. Uh, but <laughs> a time when the market uh, likes to turn, uh, especially if it's rallying. Uh, in the market, so typically full moons tend to be tops, uh, and you know it, it can be it can be the end of a downtrend too, but it tends to be the end of a trend typically. And since the market's usually rallying across time, if you go back, you know that it's usually a high. So that's just something to think about. So people might want to mark their calendars whenever they see that. Looking here on this uh, 12 hour chart, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. This is a, a, an intraday. We had this really strong rally here on the CPI report, and I'm going to get into that uh, in terms of what what I think is going to happen long term. But these Bollinger bandwidths, I like to look at these because when these are sinking, usually it indicates a consolidation of a market. And because these are still sinking, it, to me, this does suggest that we are going to come down to some type of a consolidation here in the next few weeks. I don't expect this leg to keep pushing higher just yet. I think we're in this phase of bottoming right now, and I think it's going to take a few more weeks. But we're getting closer, and I think 2024 is going to be a, a really positive time for the markets, particularly the early months. We're going to have planetary steliums, and, and these are big steliums. These are not little ones. Uh, we did, By the way, we did have a little steelium on the day of that rally. I'm going to show you the picture of that So for people who are interested in the astro aspects. I'm going to show you a picture of that, and uh, it, it, it actually kind of came together uh, right 
right when we had that big CPI surge. So uh, right into here, when we had this surge up into here, this was the CPI into here. Um, this is when we had that little mini stelium coming in. But the fact that those Bollinger Bands are contracting, um, I think is a good thing. So I'll show you a picture of that real quick here, the stelium that happened there. Now, Larry, you know the real reason the market went up on the 14th, don't you? Because I was long? The real reason it went up on the 14th? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's no, my I wedding don't. anniversary. That's oh, why it went okay, up. Everybody okay. celebrates on my wedding anniversary. So. Oh, I think that makes sense. <laughs> hey, let's take a break here. We'll have Shane right. Spolian back. Wolftrader.com, 877-927-6684. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Back, folks, with Shane Smolian, the Wolf Trader .com. I got an email from someone saying they can't see your charts, Shane. Uh, or can you can you see it now? Can you see it now, Larry? I I can. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, hmm. I don't see any problem, but evidently the other person can't. So we'll have to wait and see. So let's continue. We have got great information here. So please, please keep going. Thank you. All right. So. Um, what I have here is a simple S&P chart with the 
the 20 and the 50 day moving average, sorry, the 50 and the 200 day moving average. This tends to be a, a popular chart that people look, look at for the golden cross. Uh, this has really rarely been below the 200 moving average since 2009. I mean, the market has just been very resilient with a couple of exceptions in there, of course, COVID being one of them. Um, but this looked like it was going to cross down. The market had a nice rejection off the lows here. Uh, so to me, I, I think this market is just looking more and more bullish. It's just taking some time to set itself up. Now, if we take a look at the Fed juice here, this is really the, the crux of the matter here. This is why we had this short trade back here into to late June into here. We were short all the way down to this level here, which was this 4278 level. And so that was a long, a pretty long short. It wasn't as long as the one that we made from December 21 to October 22, but it was still pretty long. Uh, and so the reason why I, I felt bearish on that market is because the Fed internals were sinking and the market was rising. So that's what we call a negative divergence there. And so that really started right here. It started when we got to this, it started at this 4278. Uh, and so when those, those divergences happen, the market needs to come back and retrace to those levels and that's exactly what it did it came right down to that 4278 level and so that to me that was the biggest advantage that we had in terms of selling activity because we had negative astro we had the fed down so everything was kind of pushing down but now now we don't have that so much we have kind of a mixed bag here we have positive astro but the fed internals are still sinking now we actually have the reverse case right now because the market is, has actually been rallying here while the Fed internals have been sinking. So we actually have a negative divergence right now uh, that has to play itself out. So I do think this market's going to have to come back down here. There's a couple of levels that we've been looking at, but I do think it needs to come back down to some degree here before it wants to take off and really get going here. I think 2024 is going to be, I think it's going to be pretty positive. I mean, if things are set up here, I know the economy, you know, people are talking about recession and whatnot, but in terms of what I'm looking at here with these charts, uh, th this looks pretty positive at this point. Uh, so, um, you know, I do think that normally we have these positive holiday seasonals coming up, but I think that because it's it's run so much at this point, uh, and we do have that divergence in effect, that I do think there's a good chance it's going to try to come back first uh, before it goes up. There's another divergence that I look at, and I send you these, Larrys, from time to time when I see these. Uh, this is with the money flow. So we had a couple of really nice divergences here that have played out. Uh, the first letter here on the screen is the letter J, uh, and this this was a time when uh, the the money flow was rising and the market was falling, and so we had a divergence here to this 4372 level, and it you know it has to go back and retrace right when you have the divergence and it did exactly that it came back and retraced then it happened again here uh, with this letter K here you can see that the money flow was still rising another positive divergence it goes all the way up here and it gets past this 40. 372. Now we have the opposite again here. We have a case where the market goes up and the money flow is falling. So that's another negative divergence here at that 4372 level. So there's two of these out there. So I think there's a good chance we're going to at least get back to that 4372 level, uh, pro probably a little bit further on the pullback. But I think this is all part of the, the process, this bottoming process that we're in right now uh, with this market. And I just think it's so impressive that the market has held up the way that it has uh, with this whole tightening phase that's been going on with the Fed, I mean, they've been slowly trying to, you know, run off this balance sheet. And uh, we did have that little spike back in uh, March with the bank term funding program. But for the most part, I think the market, the fact that it's held up here is a very positive sign going forward. Uh, the Bollinger Band widths are at a peak here, which suggests that this is, this is probably the end of this move here. I do think that those Bollinger Bands are going to start to come back down into here. And when that happens, usually we get some type of a consolidation. So it would not surprise me to see some type of a consolidation here uh, in the coming weeks uh, as we head into uh, Thanksgiving and then into December. So I think uh, overall picture looks pretty positive. We just have a mixed bag right now. We have negative Fed, positive Astro. So that's kind of what's happening there. Um, but overall, I do feel uh, pos positive about the S&P, as I do with uh, you know proxy vehicles like Bitcoin. Um, I think those are that's showing us already what's going to happen here in terms of the the um, the risk on type of a trade. Uh, so, you know, right right now we do have a a negative, sh very short term signal of this astro uh, into this Thanksgiving period into here, and this is the the quad lunar cycle. But you can see over here, this is right over here, this red arrow. This is the Fed juice here. This is still in a cell, and then the Fed internals here. This is also still in a cell. And so when both of these are in a cell, the market cannot do any types of long-term rallies. So 
there's really no exceptions to this. I mean, if you go back to 2009, there's no there's no exceptions to this. I mean, the market can do little moves here and there, but for a sustained big type of a rally, you need this Fed internals to be pushing pushing up with the market. So it doesn't really even matter if the Astro is positive. If the Fed is still in this tightening phase, um, you're going to see the market struggle to get up. And this is not just with the S&P. Uh, pretty much across the board, if you look at long trades across the board, because we look at this with our polar R squared system, almost all the markets have not done well in the long side of the trade since uh, tightening has begun. So this is something that affects all the marks. The credit conditions affect everybody. Uh, and so that this is the reason why I think it's so impressive that this market has held up as well as it has. Uh, so, so overall, I'm still I'm still very bullish on this market. So uh, let's talk about the S&P versus the Vixie here. This is uh, I follow the Vixie, which is a it's a ETF index, and we we run a pairs trade on this. Uh, and so you know people like to look at the VIX as as a as a contrary indicator with the S and P. Uh, this this w actually picked up this this buy signal here. This is a pairs trade that we run. So on 1023, this does pick this up. It does still have the S and P up here, uh, and it had that it had the Vixie in a cell here on 1023. But one one thing I do want to kind of caution to everybody is this Vixie is getting down to very extreme levels right now. And so we have another chart that we look at uh, on, on where we look at just the Vixie at, in of itself, and it's getting down to extreme levels right now. So I think this is po pointing to a possible short-term high here on the S&P, uh, and, and I think this could start this this pullback here for the next few weeks. You can see down here, this is the, the extreme level that this, this is at with the Vixie down here. This is also the quad lunar cycle here. This makes a buy on 11.14. So why does this matter for S&P? Because these two run in inverse mirrors, and this has reached an extreme, extreme low right now. And so this isn't a buy until 11.27. And so the, the volatility tends to run counter to, to the S&P. So just something to think about. I think on a short term, we could be looking at a high end here. Uh, but but longer term, I still think that election year coming up looks looks pretty darn good at this point. So, any any questions about that? No, it, it, you're pretty much spot on, and you're coming right into the next break, so that it works out pretty good. We'll have you back in just a minute or two, okay? Absolutely. I think our I think our break is coming right now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check here. I've got 30 seconds left. Tell the folks how they can reach you. Take that 30 seconds for a little promo. That's Absolutely. Oh, too late. Uh, okay, so you can reach me. You lost me. it. You lost it. <laughs> Will Trader Future. Will, Will Trader Futures .com. <laughs> We'll be right back with Shane Smolian, folks, for the second half. Stay with us, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with the wolf trader himself, Shane Smolian. Please continue, my friend. Thank you, Larry. I just want to bring up a point. We do, just real quick, we were talking about the, the information. We do a webinar each Saturday. So this Saturday, we're going to do a webinar about doomsday stops. And that's a new concept that I'm going to talk about because we've had more and more of the reactions to these reports that we've seen coming out, CPI, PPI, GDP, jobs, have had these just explosive reactions. I call these doomsday scenarios where everything just kind of blows through. And if you don't really protect yourself with the stops and control the risk, it's a huge problem. So I'm going to talk about that uh, because this is a, a relatively new phenomenon. We used to always have the jobs report that would come once a month that was explosive, but and, and of course the Fed meeting. But now it just seems like this happens like four or five times a month now. So you, we really have to be on guard uh, with the risk on these on these types of scenarios. So just wanted to kind of put that out there for everybody, uh, that that is coming this Saturday. So if you, it's a risk control focused uh, webinar. So that's going to be Saturday at 8. It's free to everybody. You can just come out to YouTube and, and join us in the chat. All right, let's talk about some Astro, Larry. What do you think? Astro's good? I'm on, I'm on board, buddy. Let's go. All right. I don't so this, understand I, it, I thought, but I know that it works. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was interesting. Uh, this was on 11-14. Uh, uh, this was the day of the rally. Now, this was a stellium that just came together pretty quickly. I mean, th it's not like, you know, when we have in January, February, we have a lot of these just sticking around for mo for weeks and weeks. This came together for a day. Uh, you can have these four planets. We're all working together in the stellium. They were opposition Uranus. Uranus tends to go either way. It tends to go explosive either up or down. It's very unpredictable. So I felt like that that was a, a classic signature of Uranus energy uh, on the mark. And we just got that explosive move to the upside. Like I said, a doomsday scenario uh, if you're trading this. And you've got to really keep those stops extra, extra tight. I mean, really tight on those days because those days are here to stay. The computers are here. The AI is here. All this stuff is here. So the volatility is very high. We get these positive feedback loops that come into the markets and they cause, they cause things to just really go haywire. So this was the optimized Bradley. We talked about this last time. Uh, we said we were coming. This is the actual chart. So I'm just showing you the chart from last time I was on the show. So you can see on the left side here, this is the Bradley. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, four is, so the, the, the okay, just to re refresh everybody's memory, I stopped this in June. Okay, so this, all of this information out here was, was out of sample information. In other words, it's not a back test. It was actually running from this date here. You can see forward. And so last time I was on the show, just to kind of refresh everybody's memory here, we were at this low in the, in the optimized Bradley, which was the letter four here. This was making this low right at the beginning of November here. Okay. And then it was forecasting a rally here. This was an ask. This is an astro forecast. This is not a fed forecast. This is just astro, but this optimized Bradley is, is, is specifically optimized for the S and P. So it weights specific planets in, in, in different positions. And it's, it's to, you know, I deal with trading systems all the time. And so to have a system like this that's able to just keep going after you stop running the test and this is all into the future, it's pre that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's a pretty strong indication. Uh, a lot of times when people do back tests, 
you know, they're so obsessed with saying, oh, is it statistically significant? What does the chi-square say? What does the t-test say? What's the z-score? What's the Poisson distribution? What's the Bernoulli print? None of that stuff matters because the past doesn't matter at all. What matters is that it can keep going into the future. So it doesn't really matter if it models it well into the past. You can have all types of models that look statistically significant in the past. It means absolutely nothing. What matters is that it keeps going into the future. And the optimized Bradley does. Uh, I'm going to show you now what this graph looks like uh, with with this month's actual data. And so take a look. So take a look over here. This is the letter four here. This is the last time I was on the show. And you can see here that the market came into that low exactly at that low of the optimized Bradley. Uh, so it just continues to model this market very well uh, from an astro standpoint. Now, it's just going to measure the turning points. This the scope and the, the and the strength of these moves is going to be largely dependent upon what the Fed use does. I mean, once the Fed turns this back up, you know, I don't see anything stopping this market. I mean, I think I think there's a lot of the Fed is, you know, they're just they have a lot of room to start cutting. Uh, inflation is coming down. Uh, we, we were down to three percent. There is a lot of room here for the Fed to maneuver and to help this market get higher. Uh, so I just think that what we're waiting on right now is just this this Fed activity to start to turn up. So. I just wanted to kind of go through that with everybody, um, just because it was it just did such a good job. I mean, this was this is another vantage point here where we looked at some larger term moves. You can see um, this was the optimized Bradley over here on the letter E was the low in November, and then once again you can see it just picks that low up just very nicely. So, you know, sometimes it works better than others. I mean, but this was a, a specific time where it, it did it did pretty good. Uh, so I'm happy with it. I Larry, I've sent you two charts already for what was it? It was for gold in the tenure i sent yep, you sure was yeah so were so i'm good. starting to put these out for all of the symbols that we have uh and those those show highs coming in i think gold i show shows it coming in pretty soon here and then i think the tenure in another month or so something like that wait so, a minute i have a question sure it is pretty soon an astro term you got to give us a date here bubba pretty soon don't uh, cut uh, it uh, uh, i want to know okay. the time of the day to the second <laughs> Right. Well, let me see if I can get minute. this. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Hold on. I'll tell you. I got to look at this. Just within right. a day or two. Ten year. Fine, actually. This chart doesn't load. Give me a second. Oh. Anyway, and I get this to load, I'll put it. Up. Oh, here we go. The ten year has a high coming in. I think it's around December the twelfth, and then the uh, the metals has a gold high coming in. I think it's November nineteenth. It's like three days. So. Oh, okay. Gold, That's gold is, has it topping sooner. I think that makes sense because if if the S and P starts getting stronger and stronger, um, I think gold's going to struggle because I think Bitcoin. It, there's two things I want to talk about. Well, first thing is Apple here. So let's get to Apple real quick. So what you're looking at here is the Wolf Trader wave. This is a this is a wave function that I've writ I wrote myself uh, that it uses machine learning. Okay, it uses machine learning to get these forecasts going. This is in line with the forecast uh, for the S&P to, to pull back. Um, the way that this Wolf Trader wave works is there's specific time segments, but for the new, the next up wave to start, uh, I programmed it in so it has to work with RSI. So this is a weekly time frame. So this is weekly. And so what happened here? Well, Apple was in this down wave here, and the down wave is not that long. Uh, and so the down wave ended. So it's not in an up wave yet. What has to happen? is Apple has to have a pullback here on this RSI. This is the weekly RSI. So this pullback level is at about 42. It's currently at about 71. So once this pulls back to 42, Apple will have the green light here for the next leg up into this bull market here. So I think that goes nicely because it's going to take a few weeks for that to come down to 42 uh, from 71. And once that happens, the Wolf Trader Wave for is forecasting the next leg up in Apple. And Apple is very important because it's a bellwether stock into, into all the technology sectors. And I, I think the NASDAQ is something to look at because if the NASDAQ starts to get strong ahead of these other indices, that's usually the signs of a bull market. So mm -hmm. I do think that this goes in line, like I said, with the S&P forecast that we, we're going to need a little more time here, but we're getting closer. Uh, we're definitely getting closer here. And I just think that that fits so nicely if the Fed does start to – keeps pausing here and they do start this this uh, cut cycle I think that's going to be just really good news for for equity markets so here's another one that I like to look at which is Bitcoin uh, we've been bullish on Bitcoin the Fed juice has been in a buy since 829 uh, and so these these blue arrows are the quad lunar cycles uh, to me this still looks very bullish here uh, and so you know I, I think that this is forecast or pointing towards 
uh, a risk on type of a, a move coming in stocks. And so, you know, Bitcoin can take on many different meanings. It can take on a store of value, it can take on a currency, it can take uh -huh. on, uh, it's, it's, it's done a much better job in uh, inflation hedge in recent years, uh, but it also can become a risk on vehicle. And so it, okay. it kind of more If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Wolf Trader, ShaneSmolian.com. Tell us about your upcoming video that you're going to have and how the folks can reach you, Shane, for a sample copy of your newsletter. Absolutely. You can uh, visit me at WolfTraderFutures.com, and you can reach me at Shane at WolfTraderFutures.com. And the, it's also www.FedJuice.com. And the YouTube channel is Wolf Trader Futures. We have the webinar each Saturday, so don't miss this Saturday. It's going to be Doomsday Stops. This is it's kind of a, a, a new phenomenon. I'm going to talk about this, but we have to deal with this now five or six times a month uh, with these extreme volatile moves. So uh, it's just going to kind of look into into a, kind of a deep dive and analysis into how to kind of tweak your stops around this and just how we've been when we've been dealing with this on these uh, highly volatile days. So that's that's what it is. So it's each Saturday, eight o'clock and you're more than welcome to attend. It's free to attend. Just show up and we'll t we'll see you there. How do you, how do they do they go online to do this or do they go to your website or how do they do it? No, it's just it's just on YouTube. I just post. So what I do, okay, each morning it's it's eight o'clock. If you sign up for the YouTube channel, you get a notification. It's on Saturday at eight o'clock. Uh, typically, it's eight o'clock, and then mm -hmm. uh, they just show up at eight 
and they can chat and ask questions in, in the in the, the chat section on the on the webinar, and they get free to attend. I usually leave it up for a couple of hours because there's some people on the West Coast that don't wake up as early, uh, but we have people also in Europe and Japan. So I try to make it at, at a time where people can come in at eight o'clock, and then the archives of the webinars are going to be on Patreon. After a few hours, I take it down. So I try to leave it up for a couple hours if you want to come by and see it. But we're there every Saturday, and so we have a good time. So stop by. We'd love to see you there and chat yeah. in person. By the way, Shane, there are people on the West Coast that don't wake up at all, not even <laughs> at 10 o'clock. Anyway, listen, we'll have you on again soon, my friend. Live every day in the attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you, Larry. You bet. Shane Smolian, folks, stand-up guy. We'll see you on Monday, folks. I'm day off tomorrow, and we'll see you Monday. May God bless. Mm -hmm.